Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to the episode of Stardew Valley Saturdays. In the previous video, we had the last day of winter. Welcome to spring year 2. A little bit of a fun fact, this series first began on February 29th, 2020, which means we've also entered year 2. Just a, a little bit later than originally expected. You know, you'd think a year later would be February 29th, 2021, but here we are in April, so a little late. When we step outside, we'll be greeted by a nuke face. Uh, hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back from last night, uh, from overseas. My wife told me that a new farm I moved in while I was gone. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. That is Kent, the mystery man! Kent actually has been known to us, sort of. Uh, he's been on the map for a while, uh, but we've never actually seen him before, and that's because he was uh, overseas. He's a soldier. We will learn that more as we get to be closer friends with him. You might be wondering why I'm tearing up some of my sprinklers. Uh, that's because I'm a big silly. And, um, well, I spent an entire episode... Eh, it wasn't really an episode. I spent about 10 minutes, um, doing counting. I counted out how much space I have for my water, um, to the, the, for my sprinklers, to see how many crops I need to buy. Uh, the answer is a lot, so, um... I have 180 spaces here in this section that I'm in, and 64 in the section next to the li little little water pond. Uh, so when we buy things, we need to buy the, the, that many uh, seeds. You might wonder how I found that out. Well, I found that out because I counted for 10 minutes on video, and by the time I was able to buy things, the store was literally closed. Pierre's closed because it took me so long. So, yeah. Obviously, I'm just going to run right there now. I don't feel like, um... I don't feel like taking care of, of that, as far as counting on camera. Which, honestly, wouldn't, wouldn't have been that interesting of uh, a video anyway. Just me counting and then planting. So, we're gonna take care of this routine stuff. It is spring, as you can tell. We have the great spring music and the spring atmosphere. Winter in Stardew is cold. It is cold in the sense that it just feels cold. You know, you walk out, and there's like the nice calming music, which is so good, but also like, I could use some upbeat music, and that's what spring can provide. So two thumbs up for that. Uh, I did not milk the cows. Forgot to do that. Okay. You'd think, after like, so many seasons of owning cows, I would remember to milk them, but alas, I do not. So the big objective for today's episode is getting the crops set up. I say it like every season that this is going to be the big crop season. This is going to be the big crop season. But I have over 200 sp squares of available space to grow crops in. Uh, we're growing a lot of crops. That's that's what's happening. Uh, it's just inevitable, really. So, yeah. Okay, let's go in here and pick these up as well. All of our mushrooms. Actually, speaking of mushrooms, there is a giant red mushroom that grows over here. It's just gonna live there. You know, it's not bothering anyone. If you chop it down, I think you get a bunch of red mushrooms, and I just don't really feel like that is a worthy investment. So I will not be chopping it down. I, I think it looks nice as just a little bit of an aesthetic. I didn't check the mail. Let's check the mail. Uh, notice, the price of raw materials at Robin's shop and Clint's shop has increased. So if we were to, say, want to buy uh, wood, we would go to Robin's and instead of like 100 per unit, I think it's 200 per unit now, or 50 to 100, something like that, uh, there is an increase in price. Which is like small bummer, but like not too bad. Plant those in summer, I don't have this, I'm not going to plant star fruit seeds. I will take my quality fertilizer though. Okay, let's spend some money. So if we check our bundles, as you can see, what we need is parsnip green bean and potato and we also need gold parsnips so we'll be planting these parsnips in the quality crops which means we need 64 parsnips 64 parsnips i'm gonna see what else i can get as far as things that like continue to grow because those are honestly the best ones uh we'll see what spring can yield for us though amethyst uh for george we can actually take care of that right away we will, we will take care of that as soon as we can okay parsnips bean cauliflower potato uh, kale, jazz, uh, garlic, a rice shoot. Okay, spring has nothing. Good to know. Okay, so, uh, for that then, I need, let me just check one more time, I think it's parsnip, green bean, potato. Parsnip, 64 parsnip seeds. We need 64 parsnip seeds. Perfect. We need 
grows on a tr oh a uh, keeps producing after that let's get a hundred of these 100 beans okay 100 beans there we go and then like 80 no not cauliflower okay we'll get 20 cauliflower and then we'll get 60 potato there we go that'll be our crop distribution perfect and i don't think we need anything else we'll just get like a handful of grass starters i guess oil vinegar fertilizer wallpaper catalog saplings uh, we're good on a bouquet huh we could actually do bouquet stuff let's not but we we could okay perfect we have our crops grow or our crops purchased so we're gonna get back to the farm we're gonna plant those today that's a big deal we're gonna plant them but let's get this amethyst for george uh, i said he wanted it for his great grandfather's grave um that's a noble cause i like george he doesn't like us but i like george so we're going to go ahead and uh, take care of that for him i'll put that in here i have an amethyst here we are right that is what he wanted right uh, delivery for Amethyst and my great-grandfather's tombstone. And that Abigail one's just gonna burn. I don't really care. Never really had any plans to take care of that anyway. Her requests are ridiculous. I'm fair to say that. Okay, so let's go ahead and deliver this really quickly to George. He should probably still be at home. It's a Monday. He doesn't really do much. You know, they're old people. Let's see, is he here? Let's actually go to George's house. I think he might be there if it was literally his house. What is going on on this board down here? Oh shoot, I have to do the eggs. I forgot about the eggs. Uh, bug guts? Hunt, wait. Uh, big old wad of bug guts. Okay, I'll take that one. I don't know if I'm gonna do them. I honestly, I forget about those a lot. The stretch goals, I forget about them. But we'll have to see if I get around to those. I might, I don't actually know. Okay, here he is. Okay, here you are, George. Oh, he brought me the item I asked for. I really appreciate it. Let's see here. This is what I owe you. I don't even see. Did you give me a reward? 300? That's fine. Yeah, the 100 bug guts wouldn't be too difficult. I could probably do that one off camera. Um, the other one was eggs, and I totally forgot about it. I was honestly, I was not supposed to turn the eggs into mayonnaise, um, but I did. So, like, I don't know if the math adds up anymore. I don't know if the math ever added up, really, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so, let's get to work. How I like to do this is I like to hit out the area that each sprinkler will work in, and then, um, from there, it helps me plan around, um, like, how I'm gonna plant things. So, like, as you can see here, this iridium sprinkler, this goes in, uh, this shape, as far as its area of effect, and then this one goes in this area of effect, there we go okay and this one in this area of effect see so this part of the farm has actually worked really really well i think i think this area is super super good so i'm going to take my miracle grow or whatever i think this is for high quality yeah improved your quality um your chance of having high quality which is important for us because we need high quality parsnips so i'm going to plant parsnips in here um, because we need, uh, five high-quality parsnips for the bundle. And so I will be planting my parsnips in here. Alright, I'm actually gonna plan to plant all my parsnips in this area. So I think I should have just enough as far as my count goes. I, if I'm incorrect, then this is going to be embarrassing. I probably will not go back and buy more crops, so I will just waste a little bit of space. Which, like, is a shame, but I'm not gonna be... Oh, perfect. Perfect 64. So all those parsnips are watered automatically, basically. Uh, now let's continue this trend and let's mark out all the areas that these items uh, produce in or that these sprinklers hit in. Uh, let's also sell these. I shall just hold them on me for a second. Okay. And so I want to put things like my beans in one section. I would really like to have sections. I like the idea of, of sectioning off your crops, so that when they grow, you know, it's incredibly obvious what is growing uh, and when it is growing in. See, these two right here, there's a little bit of a waste in the middle. I don't really care. Um, I would have to shift everything over in order to counter that, uh, and that's just not something I'm really interested in. Uh, call me lazy. I am, but it's just not, like, I have my farm set up, and it is a little wasteful. Uh, there's also, like, a ton of random, like, 
This is a weird mix of sprinklers. There's some quality ones, there's some iridium ones, there's some low quality ones. Literally, like, this is just my my setup. And you know, it's, it's not like a min-maxed setup at all, in terms of like, keeping your crops optimally watered, and I'm not going for like, the best crops at all, I don't think. I'm pretty sure there's better ways to make money uh, than what I'm doing right now. So we will have to see. Um, as far as this goes, one thing I've noticed about this season that I did notice, did not notice in winter, uh, it doesn't get dark. When I, it was 6 p.m., it was still broad daylight, and I was unable to realize, like, oh, you missed your window to, to buy. Oh, that's why. I, I recorded myself counting. I think I said that already. And I had to scrap that video because I literally missed the window to buy. Uh, the shop closed by the time I was done with it, or that I was ready for it. So it was not ideal. Um, I, how many beans do I have? I have a hundred beans. Jeez, that's a lot of beans. Lots of beans. That's because they produce a lot, so... Literally, we're gonna make so much money. Guys, this season is gonna be huge for us. Okay, and then I think this whole intersection is covered by the two sprinklers as well. So we can just, uh, take care of everything. We're gonna take a bit of a profit loss today. And probably for the first, like, two weeks of the season. Uh, but it will be so much better afterwards. Literally nothing but profit cruising for forever, really. Cruising forever. Alrighty, just gonna go back and forth here. I probably have enough energy to do this all. If not, I have energy tonics that I can take. But literally, it's 5.55 p.m. in game. How much do I have? 16? Yeah, I'll be fine. As long as planting doesn't uh, every miss hit is bad, though. Okay. Let's start with the beans. Oh, golly. Oh, jeez. Beans grow on a trellis. Uh, we messed up. We messed up. We messed up. Okay, so the beans grow on a trellis, then. That means we need to have access to it from... Uh... We need to have access to it. Okay, that's fine. I can put beans here. Okay. And here. Nah, yes, that's okay. That one's okay too. This can go here, this can go here, that can go here. That can go here. Okay, I can get to all of these. Yes, I can get to all of these. So this needs to be a potato. Okay. This is... Organization is out the window. Organization is out the window. It's It's gone. The organization is gone. This is... I bought... It's just... I bought, a, I bought a ton of beans. I mean... This is what has to happen now. This is what happens when you, you let a man buy too many beans. He has to... Really, really backpedal on it. It's just what has to happen. Okay. Okay. Oh, gosh. Guys. The bean man messed up. I didn't- this is gonna be such a pain to harvest. Oh my gosh. Guys, the day, like, all the beans are due is gonna be such a good day. Holy buckets. Okay. Okay, and then I definitely need a row here of potato. Okay, I have so many beans left. This is not good. Okay, it's fine. When I grew the corn, I was like, oh, let's put them into corn rows. I didn't... I didn't even know the half of it. Okay. Wait. Okay. I think we'll be fine. That's That can't go there. That can't go there. Maybe it can. I'm gonna figure it out, guys. Don't worry. Okay. Basically... Okay. Hold on. I think I'm okay. Okay. Please just get rid of all these beans. Holy buckets. Oh, okay. They're gone. Oh, my lord. I definitely... Is that all I- I'm- Huh? Whatever. Literally, whatever. How many am I missing? I'm missing a ton. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm missing nine slots. I guess I will deal with those later. Uh, I can't do much right in this series, guys. I'm gonna be honest. There is not much that I can do that is right. Uh, I will check to see if I have any leftover seeds of anything. I really doubt that I do. 
Um, but I'll check to see if I have nine spring seeds somewhere. Either way, they're all watered. They're all watered, so I, I don't really have to worry about the watering aspect of things. Um, seeds. Plant these in summer. Ancient seeds. Uh, all right, you know what? We did our best. I am going to call this episode here. So, thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you get some of my videos around. I'll catch you all back here next time for the next episode of Stardew Valley Saturdays. Until then, as always, take care.